You know that TikTok reel? I know I gotta do it. I really gotta do it, but I don't wanna do it. That's me right now. I want to paint it, but I don't want to sell it. Okay, here's what we started with. And here's a sneak peek to what it turned out to look like. But let me warn you, this wasn't very pleasant. There was an amazing journey to get to this place, so you're gonna wanna watch this video to see my surprise reaction as to what I found in this piece. Hi, I'm Lisa with Lisa Boo Designs. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today, we're making over this mid-century modern China hutch. So I recently acquired this hutch and I loved it. I thought it was so unique. It's such a nice size. It's kind of low profile. I thought I might want to keep this one. And once I started working on it, I'm like, I really want to keep this one. And now I'm looking at it in my room and I'm like, oh, I really want to keep this one. But I posted it on my business page and somebody snagged it and they want it painted black. Here's a behind the scenes in order for me to paint that hutch. I had to unload it, move things around, and that's just my life. Always a hustle, always rearranging, always trying to figure out where I could put something. Before we start painting, let's look at all the work that I had to do before it got ready for this stage. Let me start off by telling you and warning you that this is the nastiest piece of furniture that I have ever brought to my house. Hence, me cleaning it outside because I wouldn't bring it inside until I had cleaned it. It had paint, it had soil, I think, it had grime, it had all kinds of nasty stuff and something that I won't reveal yet until later. It was literally disgusting. It took me hours and hours and hours of cleaning and sanitizing it but it was well worth it. Join me for the process. I mean, even the back sides need cleaning, which I will, but it's a gorgeous piece. It will be. I don't know what that is. For round one, I started with Dawn Power Wash. I could not find my TSP for anything. That's just round one. That's just a little bit of <laughs> cleaning. It was disgusting. I had to clean out my water repeatedly. And here is where I found what disgusted me even more than the outside. I couldn't believe it. Oh my God. I had brought the camera, but evidently I was in such shock that it didn't record. It was literally inches deep of carcasses from roaches. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I knew that there were had been roaches in the house where and they were dead by the time we got it. So anyway, I grabbed the vacuum and I had to vacuum for a long time to get them all up and get them off of this piece. And I just kept cleaning and cleaning and scrubbing. And eventually we got there, but it was a process. I got my little brush and I scrubbed every single square inch of this piece and the grime and the dirt just kept coming up and coming up every time I thought I'd made it somewhere <laughs> there was more dirt and then the veneer started falling apart just crumbling right there at the door next it was time to clean the bottom piece of the buffet and it was the same thing it was so hard to get this clean. That was caked on. I don't know what it was. There was just so much dirt everywhere. There's no telling. It looked like this had never been cleaned in decades, literally in decades, because there was just so much caked on grime. And I mean, I just had a workout just dumping out the water and getting fresh water it was a workout for <laughs> getting cleaning it. And then even the inside tracks of the drawers was gummy and nasty. I mean, I just can't understand it. The hardware was the most disgusting. Where your fingers go underneath, it was caked on with grime, black gooey stuff. 
I scrubbed it here, but then I brought them inside and I let them soak in vinegar for two days, actually. And then I still had to scrub it to get all the gunk out before I painted them. But look at the underside. Oh my God. There was no rodent poop in this one though. But look how nice and clean, disinfected. And then there was a stupid sticker and it was so difficult to come up. It hurt my hands. I was literally peeling it up for an hour. And it's nice and clean, disinfected, alcohol, vinegar, bleach. I mean, several rounds of cleaning inside and outside. On this other one where it was really really falling apart I just cleaned it all up and just it just broke off with using my putty knife I didn't even have to use a blade then I wanted to sand it because there, the chunks of paint on the top were pretty thick and I wanted to make sure I got a smooth finish and so I did a scuff sanding throughout the whole thing and then sanded that top a little bit better this piece is actually really rare I only found just a few on the internet for sale it is a great find so I went ahead and I grabbed some wood filler and I applied it to the scratches and the dents and where the veneer came off so that we could make sure to get a nice smooth finish and also there was some repair that needed to be done on the drawer front and also where all of the joints connected on the bottom piece you definitely want to make sure that you fill that in because once you paint it you're gonna see the gaps and so you really want to make sure that you get it nice and covered but I'm gonna change it yeah you'll be awakened cause when my love starts working on you it'll take your breath away like never Now here's a hack that I learned on several different YouTube videos, taking a syringe filled with glue to the spots of veneer that could be salvaged. And so that's what I did. I had to go to Roll King, it's a feed store, and I was able to get syringes. Next, we can paint. I'm going to be using DIY Paints Black Velvet. It's one of my favorite blacks. If you've watched me, you know I love that black. And that's what it looks like after the first coat and you could see that it dries a lot lighter and then I had a lot of bleed through coming through and so what I had to do is go ahead and assess everything and then I sprayed it with clear shellac clear shellac is great it works um, great with DIY paint it dries in 10 minutes you should do two coats and then you can go ahead and paint over it. And so I spritz it with my fine mist sprayer and I applied my second coat. And normally I don't paint the inside, but I went ahead and I did the drawer and I made sure that um, it was covered so that you wouldn't be able to see any wood. No, normally it doesn't bother me because I distress anyway, but this was a piece that was not going to be distressed So I wanted to make sure that it had great, great coverage and then for my especially for my second coats and or on tops I really want to make sure I get a nice smooth finish And so I apply a good amount of water and then it just helps the paint to glide especially using the Klingon brush That is a synthetic brush. It can give you a really nice smooth finish Now here's my disclaimer if I'm painting black, I don't normally paint two full coats. In this piece, I had to do several coats in several different areas because I kept getting bleed through. And you know, that was really frustrating. This whole piece took way longer to do than it should have been. 
but it turned out great. So I don't tape when I'm doing my glass or around the glass parts or mirrors. I just use this scraper and it's so simple, it's so easy and it's so much easier than taping because I have the time it comes through anyway. I painted the hardware gold, I use spray paint and I wanted to use the beeswax from Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. It smells like lemon and it just refreshes the drawers and so I did that on the inside. It's just a little extra special touch but it's so worth it. And here's the finished piece. It was worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> it was so worth it. Oh my gosh. Now when you're painting with DIY paint in one color, it's a clay based paint. It has highs and lows. So you're going to see a variation of color. This is what it looks like when we delivered it to her house right before I left and within a short amount of time she sent me pictures and this is what it looks like in her space with her dishware in there. Isn't it gorgeous? It matches her home so well. She has several uh, mid-century modern pieces and she was so thrilled. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I look forward to hearing from you, and I hope that you have an incredibly blessed day.